Well, my name is Heva. Most people know me as Joanne, um, my given name. And I'm from the Utica, Rome area. Um, I've traveled around a lot around the state of New York growing up, but mostly this area. I'm not really from a religious family. Um, my grandparents were Catholic and I was baptized as a Catholic when I was an infant. Um, but as I grew up, my father wasn't extremely religious. Um, there was a time that he brought my sister and I into um, different churches. Uh, we attempted to go to uh, Baptist church for a short time. And then my cousin got me into uh, the walk for Jesus and I kind of became born again at one time. And then uh, as I grew up and graduated from high school and started a family of my own, I decided I needed more God in my life. And I started to bring my kids to a church out in Seneca Falls. It was a non-denominational Christian church. And um, I was baptized again. Uh, this time born again and throughout all of these different religions that I was in just something didn't seem right with all of the different ones that I was into um, and then in more recent years after moving back out this way uh, I was going through some hard times a uh, divorce with my ex-husband and um, things were getting really hard for me, and uh, my daughter actually was talking to someone from Pakistan, and she actually um, took her shahada, and I was interested in learning more about what she was doing, because, you know, my child, <laughs> and that was what brought me to Islam. For me, everything that I was reading made sense. Uh, there was a lot of things about the other religions I had been in that just didn't seem right to me, like confession with with uh, Catholicism just didn't seem right, and just different things that I had been told by my dad in reading the Bible and stuff. There was just various parts that didn't, not that they didn't make sense, but just didn't feel right to me. And after reading and I had ordered this uh, packet of information and it came with a Quran I don't remember what website it was from, but I got a free Quran and a bunch of pamphlets and a book about Muhammad. And I was reading through all that stuff. And then, you know, I thought just this, this sounds right. And I decided that it was what I wanted to do. And it felt very... I don't want to say overwhelming, but I don't know. I just had a, a good feeling. I just, and everything felt so, I don't know. I just felt right. Every, it just felt good and it felt right. And I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> Very positive. <laughs> what drives me religiously I would say is more of a internally within my heart and what I feel um, I've always believed in God and I just let my heart lead the way um, you know when something doesn't feel right I don't do it you know and this for me this path has been it's been a good one so far. Um, challenges in becoming a new Muslim for me. Um, there's been a lot of different ones. 
Um, I went into it slowly. Uh, at first, I wasn't wearing the hijab right away. Um, I started wearing it like when I'd go to the store and people at work knew me without it, so I wasn't wearing it at work. I would have it on in the morning. My daughter was thinking I was going to work wearing it. And then I'd get to work and I'd pull in the driveway and pull it all off and go into work. And, and then I just felt like I was, I don't know, I just didn't feel right keeping it hidden. I was like, I, I needed to just come out and do it. So one day I was like, enough is enough and I just I went into work with it on and everybody was looking at me and giving me you know that you could tell they were wondering what was going on but yet they knew um they all knew my daughter was because I she used to come with me to work sometimes and sit in my office all day and you know they'd ask her or they'd ask me what was going on with her and then when they saw me come into work wearing it and then they started asking, but you know, I it was I never really met with anything negative over it except for a little bit from some family members. Um, they would comment and say different things like, you know, I have such beautiful hair, why do I cover it up? And other things like that. But to me, I felt more it felt right to me to do this. And then I, I was met with a lot of, uh, don't you get hot in the summer, <laughs> going on uh, the boat in the, we go on the boat once uh, in the summer in the uh, Old Forge area and wearing the Muslim swimsuit, which covers your whole body, you know, except for your hands and your feet, it even comes with a thing to wear over your head to cover your hair and you know, I was asked, you know, what, what's the sense in going out on the boat in the sun all day if you're going to cover your whole body? But you know what? I was the only one that didn't get a sunburn. <laughs> so that was great. But um, I have get looks from people in different places. Um, and then, of course, there's people who think that I've been this way my whole life and... Um, I get asked a lot of different questions, and sometimes I don't know the answer, you know, and I try to find out, but... Um, mostly the challenges have just been within the way I dress, and then of course there's other things like holidays, and that's been, I think, the toughest one, um, especially Christmas. The kid, my, my other kids and... and family members you know it's it's been a really tough one to try not to celebrate holidays that aren't muslim that that one has been the most challenging and still working on some of it um it's been a little challenging i i haven't figured out completely how to finish that path. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Advice for people coming into Islam? I would say definitely take it slow. Uh, go at your own pace. Learn as much as you can. You know, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'm very shy, so <laughs> it's sometimes hard for me to come out and ask things, but just Go with the heart and do what feels right. You know? <laughs> My favorite thing of Islam. That's a tough one. It's not really, there's not really any single favorite part. Um, a lot of people get uh, the concept, uh, they, they wrongly assume a lot of things of Islam. Um, like people, they s say stuff about women being oppressed and you know, we, it's not, it's not that, you know, it, it's wrong. <laughs> um, I like how I felt very, it, everything feels welcoming. Um, 
I'd say that is probably one of the things that I've liked most since I've been coming here. The moment I walked in the door, I felt welcomed. Um, and posit the positivity and how everybody is helpful. And we don't turn it, people away, you know, and I love helping others. I mean, I, charity and, and helping other people, I think, is, you know, it's amongst other religions, too. But I just feel like it's more... I don't know. I feel like it's more with, with Islam. I don't know how to dis explain it, but... I always tried to be charitable as best I could, and I hate seeing people struggling and going through hard times. And <clears throat> of course, me on the other hand, when I'm going through those situations, I'm one that never wants to ask for help. <laughs> but when I can see that somebody else is having a hard time or struggling, I always want to try to do what I can. And Islam has changed me. Um, I would say actually it has been a mostly a physical thing, but uh, I've started praying more, obviously, because in other religions, you know, it's more of a, you know, pray before you go to sleep, and some don't even do that. There was a lot of times I didn't um, go to church a couple times a week in the other religions I was in, whereas Islam, it... Uh, kind of teaches you to be more self-disciplined.